Rosa Cafe. Hi, I'm Roma and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making some kalaloo soup. You want to see how I make my kalaloo soup recipe? Keep watching. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Okay, now let's get cooking. Usually for kalaloo soup, I would use a uh, dashing stalk with, and the leong leaves. Uh, unfortunately, it's very hard to find it up here. Well, I'm going to substitute and I'm going to use chopped spinach. It does a really good job and when it's all done, you won't even know the difference. Next thing, I'm going to add some chopped okras to it. Chopped okras. Okay, so I have one little cup. Now to that, I'm going to add some peppers, colorful peppers. It's going to look really pretty when it's in there. And I'm going to grind that up with some onions and the pepper and green onions and garlic in my food, little food processor. The carrots, I'm going to leave it whole like that, like in chunks. Now I'm going to add some water to that. Okay, that should be enough. Now I'm going to add my carrots. So we're just going to cover it and bring it to a boil. I'm going to put some thyme in here and then I did it in a little bouquet so I can take it out. So this just has to cook for a bit. So I'm gonna let it stay and cook and in the meantime I think I'll make my little dumplings that's gonna go in there. And you know no Caribbean soup is complete unless there is dumpling. One cup of flour to half a cup of corn. I'm gonna put a little seasoning in there. This is just a, a seasoned salt. It's Goya. So I'm just gonna just continue to knead that until it's all mixed up pretty well and the flour is all blended together. I'm just going to cover that and let it stay until I'm ready for it. Saison. Have some fish. Chicken broth. I'm gonna make some little dumplings and I did wash my hands guys so it's they're nice and clean. I'm just gonna roll these and then I have a knife here and I'm just gonna cut them into pieces. Could also rest this on a cutting board and just cut them but I'm just doing it this way. Quick quick quick. that cook for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to finish it off with my crabs and coconut milk. So this is dashi and it's a root vegetable but it's very starchy and I'm going to boil it separate and then I can add it to it later. So this is my crab. They just claws a red crab. I don't know about this red crab. I've never had this one before but for some reason crabs are very hard to find now in the supermarket. They're already cooked, so they won't take long in there. That's why I'm putting them at the end. And now I'm going to add coconut milk to that. And usually I would have fresh coconut milk, but today I'm going with the canned one. I'm 
when I remove that little key of time. And here you have it guys, our delicious Kalaloo and crab soup. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, have a great day and God bless.